Archbishop Koka makes some shocking revelations about Namudikalo. Namudikalo is a prophet and a man of truth. It is now, I believe, the policies of this regime have badly affected and made more Nigerians poorer, jobless, and hopeless. Ain't you Namudikano? asked Bishop Koka. Boko Haram terrorists that have killed millions of people and destroyed properties worth billions of naira are being pardoned, rehabilitated, and will soon get a commission. Ain't you, Namudi Kalo? I have watched the way and manner the palliatives is distributed. No records, no proper accounting. Oh, so sad, he weeps. General Muhammad Buhari doesn't even talk to Nigerians. Ain't you, Namudi Kalo? The nation's economy is an autopilot with no one clearly in charge. Ain't you, Namudi Kalo? A country where fundamental human rights and free speech is, uh, is not a crime. Ain't you, Namudi Kalo? A country where you are told not to defend yourself against your killers. Ain't you, Namudi Kalo? A nation where human lives no longer matter. Ain't you, Namudi Kalo? A particular tribe and religion get more favored, get better job opportunities, and act like they own the country. Ain't you, Namudi Kalo? I weep for my country, Nigeria. All of these ills that has bewildered our country is the exact reason why Namudi Kalo began the agitation for the emancipation of the Igbos. An attempt to make them escape the inappetite, incompetence, and the bigotry leadership Nigeria currently have. Until the narratives change, I will support anything coming from Namudi Kalo. I have said it before. Let Igbo man lead Nigeria for four years. I'm sure the difference will be very clear, he said. <laughs> you see... Even Bishop Koka is now seeing reasons within Namudi Kalo. He is seeing that he is a man of truth. He is seeing that what he is doing is the right thing. He said that Namudi Kalo is a prophet. That all these things that have been happening in Nigeria for some time now, that Namudi Kalo recorded them. That all this ordeal that have been befalling Nigerians for now, that Namudi Kalo had earlier seen them. And that is the reason why he is seriously agitating for the independence of the indigenous people of Biafra. That is to tell you that he is believing and he agrees in Namundi Kalo's ideology. It's not just now Namundi Kalo, another man of God, Bishop Koka, a powerful human rights fighter, is now seeing reason with Kalo that his fight for Biafra's freedom is something worth doing. And he said that he will give his support. He will continue giving his support to that effect. You see, a lot of things have been going on in this country lately and nobody is talking about it. People are just keeping mute. People are afraid to talk. People are afraid to come out and speak up for what they believe in. But Namudi Kalu is coming out every now and then. He is saying his mind. He is criticizing the ill leadership of the government in the country. He is agitating for the independence of Biafra. That is what Bishop Koka is encouraging that people should agitate as well until this ill treatment by the government is ended. He said that this man, Namudikal, has seen all these things. He has seen them beforehand. He, just, he called him, he, speak, he called him a prophet. He said, Namudikal is a prophet. Can you imagine? So that is to tell you that Namudikal has foresight he have been seeing all these things even before they started happening. Even the ones that will still happen, he, he have started saying it. So people should be careful the way they go about in the country where you cannot even exercise your right as a citizen. The bishop made mention of a lot of things that are happening in the country. He said the killings 
of the people by the bandits and the, uh, and the Boko Haram. It's not Namo Dekalo that is doing those ones. The, 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 the privations of human rights in the country is not the doing of Namo Dekalo. The, the, the maltreatment of people telling them not to defend themselves against their killers is not the doing of Namudi Kalo. That the people have been ill treated. Okay, now the palliative that they are sharing because of the, 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 the lockdown, who and who is getting it? Who and who is seeing the palliatives? After they will quote billions of dollars billions that they use in doing that palliative no account no anything they are just doing it a lot of people are taking the opportunity to fill their pockets they are just packing money packing money not considering the suffering of the poor citizens in the country he said that the police of this country have made people poorer they have made life more difficult for people living in the country. Anytime you, there is anything like uh, taxi drivers, uh, Okada people, uh, uh, Keke and Pepe people, that is where you will see the police. They will be extorting money from these people on a daily basis. Extorting illegal money from them. Just because these people are struggling to survive and they know they need to survive. So any music that the police is playing for them, they will be dancing it. These people extort, extort money to the core from, the, from poor drivers on the road. So what have they not done? Okay, now, the bandits that are, that are, are, are attacking people everywhere. The insurgencies in this country. The people that are even suffering. They don't consider them. What they are considering is how to pay the people that are making others to suffer. What a country. What a country. This Bishop Kokana said he has seen it all. He has seen it all. He mentioned all sorts of ill treatment that is going on in the country at the moment. And he said none of this is the doing of Namundi Kalo. He said Namundi Kalo have already said a lot of things about all these things, all these insurgencies, all these manners that is happening now. He has foreseen them and he has been crying out for Nigeria to grant the independence of Biafra. So that the Igbos will not suffer what others are suffering in this country. He further said that he had already said that they should give an Igbo man president for just four years. That the person, an Igbo man will renew the face of this country. But nothing is done about it. Nobody is talking of giving an Igbo man a presidency. Look at what the leader of uh, Ariwa Youth said the other day. Who, who, who told you that they are going to cede power to the southeast? That the north is still interested in the presidency. That they are not ceding power to any northeasterner. If not, the only person that they will give that they will cede power to is uh, uh, Ojus or Carlo because he trusts them. They trust him. He is their ally. So that is to tell you that even if they even if they want to work it, that it will be in the favor of an Igbo man to win an election. It's only an Igbo man that will be a slave to them. That's into their tones, you know, in all sort of it. You see how this country has been turned upside down. Nothing is working properly. Nothing is functioning properly because of bad leadership and uh, illegal activities and insurgencies in the country all the time. Almost all the time. No week we pass by and you will not hear of a bad news. Either coming from bad governance or coming from any other bad happenings in the country. Anyway, Bishop Kuka, I like this one you said. I like I like these words and I, 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 I follow you on this. I follow you. I really follow you on this. Let me just see what people are saying about this already. You see, somebody said, God of heaven, we bless you, Bishop. Okay. Sardin Namu de Kalo is a brainwasher, betrayer, and a criminal is a lie. Somebody said, God bless you. And the other person said, Reverend, you have lost your mind. Stay in your church to preach. 
Don't allow your church members here hear you preach on Biafra. <laughs> Abby, is that what you have to say? Hmm. Somebody say yes, I concur with him. And the other person said, God bless you, sir. Well said. While a lot of people believe and agree with him, some other people are against him. They said that he is not saying the truth. Let us hear your own view in the comment section. Thank you for watching and bye for now.